I want to be real and clear today. Okay, the sidewalks is a safe place. On this side of the fence, after the second warning, we need you to, if you're not risking arrest, we need you to move on. Well, Father, you can hide. We can see your dreamy side. You know why we're here? We're here to stand up and fight back for our brother, all right? We're here to stand up and fight back for our community. That's right. We're here to stand up and fight back for our city. That's right. We're fighting, but we're fighting in a disciplined manner. Hey. So we ask that you guys Not stay uh, in tune with the mic, stay in tune with the people that are leading this movement, uh, leading this this particular uh, vigil. All right, this is our brother Alex. This is our brother Alex. He's been here living at this residence for 32 years, Alex. Okay, Alex is a valuable member of our community. Okay. He's been a firefighter in the city of Springfield for 18 years, yes. and he's been um, he's a family man. He has daughters and family, and uh, he's also a substitute teacher in the city of Springfield. Yay. He's a good brother, and he's worth his support. Without question, this is an injustice, all right? Alex has the means to, to, um, to pay for his home, to stay in his home, and this is unjust what Wells Fargo is doing here today. So we're standing up with this brother today to, to let them know that we stand with our brother, we stand with our community, we stand against injustice. So without further ado, I'm going to pass the mic over to Alex. First off, I want to say thank you to my union, 1459, for the other unions that have come to support this, for the people who have heard about the, pl the, the, the plight of no-fault evictions, and also the media, the state representatives that are here, or were supposed to be here, and, and, and the city, and the city, the city, the city people who are uh, the councilmen, if they're in the attendance, uh, make themselves known. And please, um, we need to support this effort. No fault evictions, evictions per se, um, give the people back their homes. Yeah. Homelessness, yeah. homelessness is running rampant now. Yes, it is. The economy is still in a state of flux. Yeah. Um, I was before the court last Wednesday. And the judge, I told the judge, I said, your actions is about to make me homeless. And all he could do was sit there and give me a simple shrug and said, well, I'm sorry. No. Hey, sorry. So he's at, these, these are our courts. These are, we're paying his salary, taxes. Yep. And he's about to make another person homeless and put them on the, on the rolls. And he, I'm sorry. So I'm sorry it's not good enough. Sorry cannot help. I want answers, exactly. We need answers to these to these problems. Yes. That's what we elected them for. That's why we appointed them. That's right. And they're, and they're, they're not meeting the, the challenge. That's right. They're not meeting the challenge. Um, to my church, Bethlehem A. Thank you if you're here. Um, to Malcolm, to No One Leaves. Yeah. Yeah. To Roberto and Malcolm, because as I was leaving the courtroom, Roberto came up behind me and said, we can help you. Yes, we can. Yes, and yes. this has happened in less than a week. Well. We've been in touch with Boston. I've been approved for uh, to buy back my home. Yay! We're in negotiations Woo! now. And I charge Wolf, Wells Fargo with being discriminatory. Yeah. Yeah. Because for no reason should they not allow me to purchase my home if I have the means in order to do so. Yeah. Right. And they're saying they're just stalling right now. Um, they're, changing, they're changing the neighborhoods. Currently, we have one, two, three, going to be four vacant homes. Okay? Non-taxpaying non non entities. And they're still going to turn this one into a vacant if possible. I don't know what they're going to do with it, but we need to stop it. We need to stop it now. Yeah. Springfield was once the city of homes. That's it's right. now the city of vacant homes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Vacant homes. Yeah. Brother Jeffrey right yeah. here is going through That's the same right. thing. Yes, I am. 
and we'll be at his house yep. when they come. That's right. Santana, Santana. Going, through Santana. going through the same thing. Eight years yep. going through the same thing. We need to stop this madness. Yeah, yeah. This is the city of homes, not the city of vacant homes. Our mayor, we have a code enforced. We have a code intact. That wouldn't allow this to happen, but he doesn't enforce it. The banks are supposed to pay for taxes. They're not doing that. When I paid for my taxes for this house, they foreclosed on me the next week. I paid for it on a Tuesday. On Monday, they sent in the foreclosure and they wanted the eviction. This was back in October of 2013. So, I don't understand the madness. Somebody please explain it to me. Somebody please tell me why. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Breathe. Breathe. Wells Fargo is one of the richest entities in the United States at this time. Elizabeth Warren has already stated that since 2008, the banks have made a 38% profit on all of their holdings, annual equity and annuities, 38%. That's almost, they double their profits ever since 2008. And we're still bailing them out. Your tax dollar. Yes. We're still bailing them out. Our tax dollars. Yeah. That's this needs to stop. We can't, we, we, we need to reorganize. We need to restructure. We need transparency. We need transparency. I want to stop the robo signing. I want to stop the people, the people that are going through foreclosures. They're just giving a blank check, just signing anybody's name. I, we need to stop it. What do we do when the banks attack? What do we do when the banks attack? All right, all right. All that Wells Fargo has to do is let Mr. Richardson buy back his home. If they refuse to negotiate, and right now they are negotiating at this moment, okay? If they refuse to, to negotiate, it, it proves that they value corporate profit over people's lives and community welfare. Mr. Richardson has lived here for 32 years and is a valuable member of this community. He's a lifelong city employee, first as a firefighter, now as a substitute teacher with the Springfield Public School System. We need to keep people like him in our community, not kick them out onto the streets. No more homelessness. Springfield, like brother said, a, the city of homes has become the city of vacant homes, the city of eviction, the city of foreclosure, the city of homelessness. Okay, why would we do this one more time, knowing that we have an ongoing crisis as it is? Why would we wait, make one more person homeless? I don't know. If he gets evicted, Mr. Richardson Hall will be the fifth vacant property on his street. Look around. We got the fifth vacant property on his street. Boarded up. Look at look at these houses. Look at the look at the house across the street. Boarded up. That's a that's a bank owned. The one over here. Look at them. They're in shambles. Is that what we want for our community? Okay. Why does it make sense to give this man who's fixed up his home, is taking care of his home, to send him out on the streets? That's right, that's right, okay? There's no there's no good reason. So if he gets evicted, Mr. Richardson home will be the fifth vacant property on the street. That not only impacts him, but his whole neighborhood. More vacant homes mean plummeted property values, increased crime and drug activity, and often fires. Okay, I live in Forest Park. And I tell you, when I bought my home like 10 years ago, I mean, it was a model community. And I know the police officers over there can speak to it. Almost nightly now, gunfire on Sylvan Street, gunfire on Belmont, gunfire all over. On Wilmot. Why? Because we got people, they, they, I mean, they're squatting and, uh, and, and doing violent things in, in, in um, vacant homes. Okay, we don't have a community anymore. We used to have a strong community watch. We have a strong community support. But now that thing is, is torn down because people like Mr. Richardson is no longer in our community. People that stand up and fight back against uh, uh, injustice and violence. We no longer have those people in our community, okay? So 
please. This is a big, this is bigger than one person. This is bigger than one home. Yeah. This is about our community. Right. All right? Yeah. This, is, this is a good man. Obviously, he's been a firefighter for so long, and now is a teacher, a model citizen, and we're going to throw him out on the streets? Come on. That makes no sense. No. No. Makes no sense. No. Wells Fargo, you get hot. Wells Fargo, you get hot. Mr. Constable, Mr. Police Officer, this could be your family tomorrow, so keep that in mind. Right. Okay, keep that in mind, everybody that's here today to, to carry out this eviction. Okay, that, it, things happen in, in, in strange ways, okay? So be careful. I ask the people that are here to support Mr. Richardson, support him in a righteous way. Yeah. We're fighting against Wells Fargo today. Woo. But let's make this very clear. This is big and this is bigger than Wells Fargo. Okay, many of us here today, we're fighting for our homes. Myself, Brother Jeff, and many others are fighting for our homes. We're fighting against Bank of America. Yeah! Bank of America, bad for America. Okay, so I'm making it clear, it's just not Wells Fargo, but we have many banks represented here today. Many banks who are blighting our communities. Many banks are making homes vacant. Increasing crime in our community, boarding up houses in our community. What sense does that make? One more home? Is that going to make more sense for our community? No! Elected officials that are here today, we're, we're, we're here and we're thankful that you're here today, first and foremost. Thank you for coming today. But we're making it clear, okay, we need you to stand up and, and, and really pass and push through some legislation. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No peace! No peace, 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 no
but we didn't get the bill that some of us wanted. It was not the kind of bill that some of us wanted. We wanted more, more of an extension on the limitation, the statute of limitation for going back and reviewing cases. We had a little problem in the House with the Senate, so we didn't get the bill that we want. It's on the governor's desk. I don't know whether he will pass it or not. He might send it back, and it would be all right with me because I didn't like the bill anyway. But I'm, I'm really here just to simply show solidarity. I want to commend you for the work that you've done over months and years to try to keep people from being evicted, to try to stop foreclosures in the city of Springfield when you want to keep all the people here. And that is noble of you, and I... I commend you for that and hope that you will keep up the work. I will show solidarity with you whenever opportunity presents itself. Thank you. Also, also, let me know, let me help, help me in shaping legislation uh, because you know the problem probably better than I do, quite frankly. Uh, this man has paid a, 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 a great uh, debt to his society through working in a number of capacity. He shouldn't be subject to this, but hey, Wells Fargo is not the best bank in the world. Got you right. Uh, one of the things that banks have been doing, one of the things that banks have been doing, uh, packaging, packaging mortgages and selling them, and they've been selling them to financial uh, institutions, institutions uh, financial funds. companies, in effect. Hedge funds. Hedge funds, exactly. And they've been doing that to so that they won't. Uh, so that they can avoid the negative publicity. Now, here, Wells Fargo started the problem, but Wells Fargo had an inkle out of it by selling the mortgage. Now, there are a lot of banks that are doing that. We probably need legislation to preclude how much of that can be done. Stop, but I want to listen, frankly. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Swan, we thank you, and we ask that if you, we thank you very much, Swan. We ask if you can make a call to our, our, our mayor, Mayor Sino. We ask that you, you know, give a word to our elected officials. That you know, we thank you for being here, but we we really want to see our, our elected officials here because we do this all the time. And, and, and we ask them to come, and and, and you know, fortunately, well, maybe you know, I can bring some all right. Yeah. I mean, we go to other cities. I gotta be honest. I, I mean, I, I went down to Boston a, a, a few years ago, and, and cities that have less of an issue, their mayors were at conferences discussing what's going on with their community. I haven't seen Mayor Sano. I gotta be honest. You know, I'm not gonna bash him here today, but I, 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 I haven't seen him. You okay. know, this is my sister, real deal, right here. That's right. This is my sister right here. Supports us, she stands with us. That's right. That's the type of elected officials we need. All right, we need people to stand with us because talk is cheap. I'm very impressed. You gotta give yourself a round of applause. Give That's right. Thank you. Um, I am very impressed. Thank you so much. And we like stand in solidarity with our brother and with our families. We cannot afford any more homeless families. We cannot afford any more empty homes. And we gotta continue to do our best to stand with our families at all times. Thanks. They're gonna continue to do their best to like stay greedy and do and, and, and just keep and take just for them without even taking into consideration who they're hurting. They're not hurting just the parents, they're hurting the kids, and that is not fair. No. Not fair. And so what do we do when the banks attack? Stand up, fight back! What do we do when the banks attack? Stand up, fight back! Thank you so much, and I will do Thank my you. best until the day I die. To stand the day. Uh, my, name, my name is Dan. Thank you all for standing out here. I work with Arise, and we have got to stop this getting homes taken away. Everybody needs a home. My name is Holly Richardson, and I work with Out Now, and I'm a member of Arise for Social Justice, and every morning I wake up on the wrong side of capital. 
I work with out now. I was born and raised in Springfield. This is my home, and right. I'm willing That's to fight to keep people in their homes, too. Right. Hi, my name is Shay, and I work with Out Now, and I know what it's like to have your home taken away from you, so I stand with Alex and to keep his home. He deserves to stay here. Watch their name earlier, but out now, at least for these are young folks. This is the type of young folks we need to support. These are the type of young folks we need to support. Okay, we got a lot of people out here doing foolish things. They're standing up for something big, bigger than them. Okay? No longer allow the banks to come in here and take your home. And I'm talking about the kids. Because when you throw these families out into the streets, you're throwing these children out in the streets to put them into crime and violence and whatever else is out there for them to survive. Yes! We are tired of this. We want to bring this community back to what it used to be. Peace. Beautiful community. And love. Nobody leaves immediately. We want to make sure that they're, they're true to their word, all right? So don't leave, because we know Wells Fargo, you get high! We can see your greedy side. So we want you to stay put. We can see your greedy side. Wells Fargo, you get high! We can see your greedy side. Whose house? Our house. Whose house? Our house. Whose streets? Our streets. Whose streets? Our streets. Whose house? Our house. from Springfield, no one leaves. Ready to speak to you guys today, here you go. I, 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 I represent a rise of social justice and also a strong youth program. Um, I just wanna say thank everybody for sticking up. Once they see that we have unity, they know they can't do nothing with us, right? We need to do this for violence, the killings. We need to do this because once they see us as you, one, Look at it, black, yeah, brown, up. purple, green. One like, up. Look at it, it looks so good. It looks so good. And yet we have one more victory. And yet we have one more victory. As long as they see us in unit, there's nothing that can break us, nothing. The people united will never be this morning. We've had a victory today. We've had a victory today, but the battle still goes on. We don't know when they'll come back, but they are coming back. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know what the negotiations are about. I'll find out, but I'll keep you informed. But from the bottom of my heart, my unions, my state representative, my city people, even the police. We want to thank you. We want to thank you for tolerance. We want to thank you for vigilance. I want to thank you for support. My son, my dog, and my family. All right, the officers have an announcement. The moving truck has moved and has left. Sure. Sidewalk, they can leave. So can we like try to get on the sidewalk? Okay, as I was sharing with uh, my sister Rhonda, I'm a resident of Rochelle Street for 15 years plus. I have seen dire changes on this street. If I had a picture of 50 years plus when I moved here, and a picture of now, you would not. If you don't mind, come up here so everybody can see There you go. Yeah. Come on up here. Yeah. I can hold it close to your mouth. Yeah. Fix the mouth. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Mic check. Mic check. Okay, the street would be unrecognizable. Do you see the decay, the neglect of these homes? Yes, yes. we do. Yes. All right. I'm not happy with this. No. Who are right. we? I'm a member of the Upper Hill Neighborhood Council, I hear you. and we have done what we could, but. They like us. <laughs> Keep going. They're doing something here at their house tomorrow. <laughs> well, to stick to the issue. Now, this uh, home foreclosure that I, I oh, it just breaks my heart. Well, you can see we have a, a couple of homes on the street that's boarded up. Yep. That's right. That shouldn't be. No, no, no. That shouldn't be. No, no. no. Now, I've been a worker and a taxpayer. I raised my family on the street. My husband worked 31 years at Pratt Whitney. I retired from the state. We paid our taxes. We you. paid our dues. Right. Right. And this is not fair. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It's not right. fair. Yeah. Now, not fair. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to see all of you out supporting. Thank you for showing your support. I've been in the back, uh, ne like negotiating with the bank, with yeah. you, uh, and uh, and then Katie's been negotiating with the police. Woo! Woo! Let's get, let's get you and Katie a, a huge yeah, Katie! Yeah. Uh, and, and Emily's been, uh, you know, getting the media going and making sure that our word gets out. And I want to thank uh, SEIU for coming out. Yeah. Let's give it a big hand. Yeah. Right, right. USCW. Yeah. Well, what people don't know is we have people from the UFCW on the corners trying to uh, look out for any locksmith so that wow. they can turn them away. Yeah. So let's give it a big hand. Let's give the UAW a big hand for coming out. Arise for social justice. Arise! UFCW! Out now! I love those people. Out now his neighbors! Yeah! Rachel, shoot a big hand. Yes. Springfield, no one leaves. And all the other organizations that are here. They already said it. They already said it. Rise again, baby. Rise again. So uh, we could have done this with all the love that everybody put into this. <laughs> And we want to make sure that everybody stays in touch and that everybody is aware that the fight isn't over. The fight just started. It just It just begun. And so we want to make sure that everybody is, our, is on our text message alert, everybody's on our Facebook page, and everybody is uh, on our email blast. Um, and, every, and we have everyone's phone number so that if tomorrow or tonight we receive a 48-hour notice, we're every, we need to come back tomorrow. Yep. Yes. Right. And we need to fight off this eviction. Yep. Because we may well struggle really angry today. Yes. Yes. And we're going to continue to make them angry. That's right! Until we find that we found justice, not just for Mr. Richardson's home, that's right, but for every community like this. That must yeah. be the yeah. best for the best for the No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No no One of our brothers and sisters being affected by the prison industrial complex. Yeah. So right. This is solidarity. This is community standing up for each other. And this is what democracy looks like, like our sister just said. And let's continue to fight. We win. Can we fight. We win. Can we fight. We win. Can we fight. We win. We win. We win. We win.
Mr. Richardson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a couple more words. I'm elated. I'm, 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 I can't, I'm speechless at this point, but I, I do know what to say. I want to thank my daughter for coming up to Brockton in order to uh, be with me and stand with me. SEIU, UAW, yeah. all of the unions that came to support me, thank yeah. you, but it's not over, until the fight is over, we want us to take chocolate, eat chocolate, eat chocolate, chocolate was sad, but now she's happy, look at her, chocolate, thank you very much for taking it home for chocolate, you know, go to the website, read my story, read the story, and you'll see, Exactly how far the bank big banks can be that you can <laughs> and support Mrs. Warren. She's been my, she's been in my corner yes. the whole time. Support yes. Mrs. Elizabeth Warren. Yes, right. Yes, yes definitely. Yes, yes. Yeah. Our side for all Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 No sisters, no via. Listen, anybody that's new to this know that when we come together as a community, we really win. We win. So this violence that's going on, we need to make them put tear down these walls, these boards, and get our community cleaned up so we can promote positive energy and move this violence out. Because we can make it move. Right. Yeah. You gotta believe in ourselves. Right. Believe that we can make it move. Yeah. Believe that. I was I was I was foreclosed for four years. And I got my house back. Because yeah. I paid yeah. I was yeah. 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 So believe that. That's why I said we had to let them know. I used to work for the New York Fire Department. I know the feeling. Don't don't yeah. tell me I work for this and then you're gonna take me out. Yeah. No, it's not gonna go down. But all y'all Facebook lovers or y'all tweeters, please go to Speak for Number Leaves on Facebook. Post this. Post this. Shame Wells Fargo. Shame Bank of America. Shame. 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 We call it the sword, and that's the power of the people. And we believe that the only way that we can change the system is when we're organized and we're united and we're willing to take bold steps. And so we had an incredible crew of people who were uh, willing to sit in and people who were willing to risk arrest today uh, for uh, the moral side of justice and uh, stand against Wells Fargo. We had our elected officials step to the plate on the phones. Um, we had attorneys helping out. We had incredible leadership from our brother, uh, Roberto uh, and, and Katie uh, negotiating. And we had Alex, who was resolute in his willingness and his boldness to not only fight for his house, but to build the movement in front of his house. And it's hard, it's hard to, to face that. And we thought we've seen that that kind of power can win almost every time. So, so what, what was the victory today? What, how, why did the police leave? I, mean, I don't know all the details. My, uh -huh. um, so, why did the police leave? Uh, I mean, I, I get what we did, and I think, and, and you know, all of you who were involved in the organizing yeah. and putting your bodies out there, I, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm just so appreciative. So our, our understanding is that when the sheriff and the police got here, they were not very motivated to arrest us. Uh, that would be my understanding. Um, and for uh, what appears to be some logistical reasons about a locksmith, they did not pursue the eviction. Uh, but it is forcing now Wells Fargo to negotiate and last we heard they are at least going to talk to BCC. Uh, but we're on high alert. We need everybody else to be on high alert. They can get on our text message alert system. You text uh, the message at SNOL actions to the number 23559. Um, they might serve another 48 hour notice today and we'll be back out here on Wednesday.
Obviously, we need, we need everybody on high alert. Ready to, ready to be back out here. The individual pitches, we ask that you turn around and face the streets. We're going to get a group. It's time to trim the tree. <laughs> negotiate with the constable and with the police officers to stand down um, and uh, not get involved and so we avoided an eviction today and any arrests that otherwise. Thanks for your good work. Thanks. Thank you. See, we have people all over right now, okay? You, you don't see them, so Banks, Greedy Banks, you can't hide. We can see on the side.